Welcome to lesson number two. This lesson is entitled How People Learn. Now this lesson is important to the overall uh, Perfect People program because I believe it is very important for us in order to master our communication with other people is to understand how it is people learn and how they organize their brains. Now what's very important uh, to understand is that uh, science has proven that the human that the human learning process is specific and that it's not random as many people think we are in essence all wired with the same learning opportunities and tools now i know that we've been raised to believe that we are all unique and we are all different and uh and and we are in terms of the combination of methods that we use to communicate and uh, in, in the culmination of our experiences. But when it comes to how we learn, as human beings, we are very much the same. Now, again, what makes us different are the methods that we choose to use during the moment of communicating. There are three major factors that affect the way people learn new information. And one number one is through our senses, and we call this sensory modalities. Now, uh, you're all familiar with our five senses, and that is how we make sense of the world. Sight, smell, taste, feel, and sound. And we use these tools to interpret our experiences. Number two is what we call reasoning, or in other words, inductive and deductive reasoning. Inductive reasoning is uh, a, perhaps a pattern or rules that uh, we use to come to a conclusion on something. The other one is, the other uh, reasoning method is deductive reasoning. And deductive reasoning is what we deem logic or facts. It's kind of based on the evidence. Number three is learning environment. And this is very important because our environment, um, this includes our social interac interactions with other people. Um, and and our surroundings. So what's very important for you to understand in terms of, of your learning is you want to make sure that you avoid conflicts between what you want and the influence of your environment. Now again, these lessons are overviews and I look very much uh, forward to getting together with you and discussing these in, in greater details. But one thing to understand about our learning is that is it success in communication, success in uh, achievement, um, success in general leaves clues. Now what is important to, to this understanding is that we must pay attention, um, we must ask questions, and we must listen. So this is what makes our uh, interaction with other people very, very important. Now uh, in conclusion here, success in learning is understanding what it is that you really want. What people really want is this emotion that we call happiness. Now keep in mind that, that happiness is an emotion. Um, people generally tend to get confused with, uh, with, with how to consistently achieve the emotional state of happiness. Now happiness drives all action, all human action, and those actions are what uh, what what bring us prosperity and progress, and that's something to that is very important to understand. And that is that uh, happiness derives from what we sense as human beings as progress. Now, uh, when an individual senses that they are progressing and growing understand that that can occur at any increment. It doesn't have to be massive achievement or massive success. When when we sense that we're progressing, then that is how we achieve this, uh, this emotion we call happiness. Now, in conclusion, this emotion is something that can be achieved, and I look forward to sharing this with you in, in lesson number three. But it is very important uh, principle uh, to the human learning process to understand the element of connecting your body with your mind. So that's something we'll discuss in lesson number three. I thank you for joining me here for lesson number two and uh, we'll look forward to talking to you in lesson number three. Thank you.